What's your, um, what's the coffee scene like in Montreal? I'm assuming it's amazing. The coffee scene is really amazing in Montreal. We're really fortunate for that. And actually the way that I got into third wave coffee was through, um, somebody on Twitter who was from England and they sent me a tweet years and years and years ago about this coffee shop that I should try in Montreal. And I'd never tried like a real good third wave espresso and I'd never even heard of the concept before. Um, but they're the ones that introduced me to Cafe Saint Henri, Cafe uh, Saint Henry Cafe in in Montreal and then my discoveries just kind of like went off from there. And I, I've used um, something called the Indie Coffee Passport, which uh, I'm not sure if it still exists, but it was this list of cafes that you could go to and it would cost about 20 bucks to buy the passport and there might have been like 25 cafes on it. And you would uh, be allowed one coffee drink at each one of these cafes. So I would use that on my off days to discover new coffee shops around the city. So when I would have a recovery ride to do, I would take out my Indie Coffee Passport, just blindly pick a cafe, go try to find it on my bicycle, just like on a nice, easy urban ride. Um, and I that way I would be able to discover a brand new coffee shop. And I'd also be able to discover sometimes new parts of the city that I'd never actually even been to. So we have a lot of coffee shops and there are always new ones popping up. One just actually opened recently this summer around the corner from where I live, which is so cool. They're called Structure Roasters, right downtown old Montreal. And it's a new favorite. Thanks for stopping by friends to the Brenton on Tour podcast channel on YouTube. Coffee, music, travel, life, all of those things one page, lots of guests, lots of chatter. We talk about all of it. If you like it, subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment. I'll get back to you. Thanks friends. See you next time.